I'm at Universal Orlando Resort to check out Cabana Bay Beach Resort. So how about you and I dive right in? Cabana Bay Beach Resort here at Universal Studios Orlando, right next to Volcano Bay, across from Aventura Hotel. It's kind of like a value hotel. It's pretty affordable. It's not as a value hotel as Surfside and Dockside are, but if you don't want to stay there, this is a second best option. Let's go uh, inside and check it out. And upon entering, this is what the lobby looks like. It's really nice. Super easy to find your way around. It's not complicated. The ceilings are extremely tall. You have these beautiful palm trees in the middle. You have your vacation planning center as well as your uh, area to get your tickets. They also have um, a rental car area for you as well. And if you're wondering, is it you know hard to navigate this resort? No, it's actually quite easy. There's only two sections, and it's yeah. Once you once you find your room, you're good to go. And yes, if you're wondering, they also have a Starbucks coffee available. And here's Bay Liner Diner. All your snacks. Bunch of, what, what is this? I've never even seen this. Oh, it's a s'more stick. Wow, you can build your own s'more, look at that. That's cool. A bunch of different assorted beverages, like they have a bunch of alcohol, they have desserts, they have cuties, they have yogurt, fruit, milk, water juice look for the kids and they have multiple stations here each with different things like it looks like i'm seeing some omelets it is still breakfast time or actually it's almost it's almost lunch they might switch it over they have numerous options available for you the pizza and sandwiches look they even have a slurpee machine of course we have some cereal we have some more beverages over here we have chips pastries all that fun stuff and look at that even ice cream and what's nice in the cafe area they have plenty of seating for everybody down here at the pool, we have our Sunday through Thursday hours, 9 to 9, and Friday, Saturday, 9 to 10 p.m., so a little bit later. Pool's really nice. They only have one of the pools open as of right now, the uh, main pool with like the, uh, I wouldn't call it the main pool, because this one's a pretty big pool too, because it also has a lazy river, but the other pool has this like really cool, iconic, like it looks like a diving board, uh, like kind of thing, and that's what you see like in a lot of the marketing, and that one's closed. So if you're staying at Cabana Bay, you'll have to walk over to the other tower to enjoy the pool. Up here at the second level, they have plenty of areas to sit and relax, enjoy a nice beverage. Unfortunately, right now, Fun in the Sun Rec Center is closed for the time being. They'll reopen it later. They do have the arcade open, which is interesting because I know at other locations, they do not have the arcade going. So they may be doing the same thing like with the gyms where they operate it for just a little bit and then a cleaning crew comes in here and cleans it. And here's Galaxy Bowl. I've done bowling here before and it's a lot of fun. Inside is like retro vibes. And then here's the pricing. Guest rates $12.99 per bowler. Includes 45 minutes of lane time and shoe rental. That's actually a really good price. And then here are the hours. All the information's right there. They even have food and beverage here. They have bites, greens, and everything in between. Now, if you do want to bowl when this opens up, uh, I would recommend coming early because of the social distancing and everything. They're not going to have every lane open. It's a very intimate uh, bowling alley. But nonetheless, it's a lot of fun. I've done this before, and it's just a, something great to do in the evening, either when you're done with the parks or if you're just hanging out for the day at the resort. Yeah, what's cool is when you stay here on property, I mean, maybe you have one day where you don't even go to the theme parks. You go to City Walk, you do some exploring, you do the miniature golf. You come back to your hotel and you can do some bowling, hang out by the pool. Yeah, I mean, those days where it's like nice and relaxing are also like, it should be on everyone's list, those relaxing days. Of course, we also have a gym, the Jack LaLanne Physical Fitness Studio. Looks like they're closed right now for some cleaning. And like I said about the arcade, they go in here every so often and do a little bit of cleaning. And then I think the gym's open for like an hour and a half at a time. There's the hours right there. And then this is the other side that I was talking about that was closed. This has the slide and like I said, the iconic like diving board uh, tower. 
So as of right now, this pool and entertainment area is closed for the time being. I'm sure they'll open it up later once the demand is here. Uh, I think by the summertime, all these hotels will be reopened and uh, they'll be operating at like their normal capacity. So we'll, we'll wait and see, fingers crossed. And of course, a Universal Hotel wouldn't be complete without a Universal gift shop. They have plenty of items in here as well as your standard items. That if you maybe forget something like sunscreen, Advil, uh, Tums, any of that kind of uh, stuff. They have all of that here as well as Harry Potter merch and just your classic Universal Studios merch. Oh, look at this retro mural. This is nice. I wonder if this is hand painted. I mean, it's, it's very possible. I love that. I love the style too. It's so cool. And remember on each floor they have ice and vending. So if you need a soda or some ice because you already bought beverages, they have plenty of that. Now the laundry for Cabana Bay is located on the third and sixth floors. Super easy to find. This one's just right by the elevators. And just like on the other floors, they have vending and ice available. This one has some chips. Ooh, look at those tasty treats. And this is what it looks like. So there's plenty of washers and dryers for you. They have the uh, pay machine right there. They also have some hand sanitizer. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, we have some little change machine. Just like a, just like a casino, not really. But yeah, you just stick your card in there, gives you all the information, and there's plenty uh, of machines to wash and dry. They're each $3, not too bad. And if you're not sure how to work them, they do have some instructions on how to get everything done. Alrighty, here we go. This is what a suite looks like. Thought I got a standard room, but um, I guess I got the <laughs> upgraded suite. So uh, thank you, Universal, for upgrading me. This was a pleasant surprise. But yeah, you can see plenty of room in this suite. Of course, we love the retro decor. That's always sweet. We have a couch here with two lounge chairs. Now this couch is a pullout. You can pull that out. It is a queen size bed. So if you have uh, additional members of your party, more than welcome to stay. Have a nice view out to the greenery there. We don't have a view of the parks. So we have a view uh, of like off kilter of Volcano Bay. And here's like the main sleeping area, the two queen beds. We have some more, some more of the retro artwork. It is really nice. Now I did get an annual pass holder discount on this room. So if you are an annual, uh, annual pass holder for Universal Orlando Resort, be sure to do that online to, or to get your discount. You can probably call and get a pass holder rate. Uh, and if you know they need to see your pass upon check-in, you can do that as well. And what's neat is they have this little divider that separates both rooms. So if you do have other guests with you, you're uh, stacked in this room, you can close that privacy door. So it kind of gives you like a two room feel. The room also comes with a safe and an ironing board and some hangers. Of course, we can't forget about the TV. There are two in this room. There's a nice little kitchenette here. We have a microwave, a little mini fridge down there, sink, coffee maker, and plenty of storage to put whatever you want up here. It's really nice. I really like this light too. And of course the bathroom. We have a double sink in here. So we have a sink uh, where the shower is and then we have a sink out here in the main area. Hello, towels, hair dryer, tissues, soap, all of that. Of course we have some more towels down here. Toilet, bam, there it is. And uh, here's the shower, pretty nice shower. It is tall people approved, which is nice. Don't you hate when you go to a hotel and the shower head's like down here? At Universal, they take care of you here. The shower head is high enough for everybody. And of course we have our little um, thing to hang your swimsuits and whatnot. I really love the shampoo they give you too. It's like old school VO5 shampoo and conditioner. They give you the zest soap. You can ask for uh, extras of those and Universal will uh, send you up some more uh, goodies for your room. You just text them because everything's kind of like touchless. They'll send you a text notification when you check in and you can just let them know that you need some uh, toiletries or whatever or you can walk down to the front desk and ask and they'll go ahead and deliver that for you. These rooms are very similar to Surfside and Dockside though. So if you want to save a few extra bucks Definitely check out Dockside. It is open right now at the time of filming this. Surfside is closed right now and maybe open up later on uh, this year. Maybe I'm sure by the time Halloween Horror Nights kicks in this year, all the hotels will be open. There's only a few select hotels that are open right now. But yeah, definitely check out Dockside and Surfside because the pricing is a little bit cheaper. And of course, it's pretty similar to this. 
This room is perfect for six people. If you have a big group and you're hanging out in the parks and Volcano Bay and having a good time, this is a really nice room to get. It's, it's, it's reasonably affordable. Dockside and Surfside are the value resorts and Cabana Bay is right next to them uh, as far as the list. It's not too expensive, it's very affordable, especially for a family. And what's neat is this is pretty close to the parks, so the shuttle's a little bit shorter uh, than if you stayed across the street at Dockside and Surfside. Cabana Bay is a really nice resort. I do enjoy the rooms here, and the resort in general is really, really nice. I, I'm not really sure what the rooms look like in the new Cabana Bay Towers. I'm assuming they're all the same, but they also have suites in those towers as well. I'm, I'm guessing that it's gonna look just like this one. So when you're browsing through the different room selection online, it, it's pretty much across the board uh, standard look. There's really not a difference in the suite look. It's kind of like similar to uh, Dockside and Surfside where the suites are, are pretty much the same. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video from Cabana Bay Beach Resort at Universal Orlando Resort. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll stay up to date on every time I post new videos. This hotel is wonderful and it is of value as well. It's a little bit more expensive than the Surfside and Dockside hotels next door, but it's still a really good, cheap place to stay on property. And there's a lot of amenities here. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description, as well as a huge shout out to my Buy Me A Coffee members. Thank you so much for all the help and support. It really does mean the world to me. I hope this video brought value to your vacation planning. I, I really hope it did. I love doing that for everyone. And other than that, I mean, I hope you guys have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.